Bulginaka, do you know that cybercrime is becoming a growing problem in Fiji? Cybercrime is defined as a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime, such as hacking and spam. Cybercrime is also cyberbullying and using fake profiles to cause panic and spreading false news. If you're involved in this or know anyone who's committing in this bulletin, more students seek counselling services. Youth urged to get vaccinated. And China provides $1 million humanitarian assistance. From the studios of FBC Suva. More university students are seeking counselling services as they are unable to adapt to the changes brought about by COVID-19 crises. The University of the South Pacific has organized a week-long health program aiming at assisting students who are facing various difficulties. USP Councilor Kele Turayawa says it has been stressful for many students to adapt to new way of learning. She explains although the online classes ensure students do not lag behind with their studies, this however made them feel isolated. The, the trend it varies depending on what's happening. For example, uh, we in this COVID-19 period, uh, COVID-19 restrictions. So we, so last year there was an um, increased numbers of students coming in the counseling center because they do not know um, how to adapt well to this uh, COVID-19. Youth in Lakembalau have been urged to get the COVID-19 vaccination once it's available. UN resident coordinator Sanaka Samarasena told the youth on the island that it's safe to get vaccinated. Samarasena says this will also allow Fiji to be safe and will also help get the economy back on track. He says it's crucial for youth members to know more about the vaccine and raise awareness in the villages of Lao. Uh, from the but 75% of its population is vaccinated. Then there is what we call herd immunity, which means that the country is relatively safe and people can start coming. So there will be a time when you are no longer safe from the virus unless you've had the vaccine. One million dollars have been donated by the Chinese government to support the Fijian government's effort in rebuilding and recovery efforts following severe tropical cyclones Yasa and Ana. Prime Minister Vorege Banimarama acknowledged the China for their timely assistance. China's ambassador to Fiji, Jian Bo, says they are ready to strengthen development strategies with Fiji. 60% of the grant can be allocated to the Ministry of Education, 20% to the Ministry of Agriculture and 20% to the Ministry of Fisheries as these three sectors were most affected by the cyclones. Investment Fiji is focused on post-COVID recovery plans with a strong emphasis on domestic investors. The government investment agency made submissions on its annual reports from 2016 to 2019 to the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Economic Affairs. Over $580 million worth of investment was recorded just before the impact of the pandemic hit us. Strong says another key area is matching investors with the right sectors. Investment Fiji will have project managers for specific areas to assist the investors. Our goal is to, is to identify and connect um, capital, global capital, whether it's um, financial capital or technical capital, with Fijian businesses and business opportunities. So you can see under, under kind of the reform and our revised focus, we're placing just as much importance, just as much emphasis on our domestic investors. Villages of Ambava in Lautoka have been praised for continuously protecting their natural resources. The village, which is known for its multiple tourist attraction sports, got a boost following the renovation of one of the lodges. Philippine Eye Council reports a rest area has also been built for the hikers. The Department of Environment is ready to assist the villagers of Ambatha in maintaining their biodiversity as it works hand in hand with their tour business. We are grateful for Minister Reddy's assurance of being in a partnership with us as our natural resources play a vital role for our village as it's a tourist attraction. Ambada Village, which is just 30 minutes drive from Lotoka City, offers visitors a national park, waterfall, lodges and a place to hike. These were kept safe by their forefathers and now the villagers are reaping the benefits. The village has certain rules about the environment here at Ambada. 
which has been passed down from generation. Everything that has been done today will benefit our children and their children. The villagers of Ambatha have been reminded of the vital role their biodiversity plays in their day-to-day -day life and to ensure it's protected for their future. Philip and I, Kasso, FBC News. The Public Rental Board has noted a change in the housing trends, especially from first home owners. PRB manager properties Maloni Daurewa says Fijians are changing preference because of the impact of the pandemic as they are now looking for cheaper rental flats. Daurenga says they have managed to clear its waiting list, however, the demand for flats remain. He adds PRB has been working with the Housing Authority and the Ministry to provide affordable homes to their current and potential tenants. There is quite a lot of demand, uh, but I think we've uh, managed to uh, sort out some of the wait list that we have. Uh, but yes, the demand keeps on coming because of uh, the low rental that, uh, that we charge. Eh? The Fijian Broadcasting Corporation's Care Committee handed over new uniforms to students of Nawada village in Vanuelevu. The assistance is for students affected by tropical cyclone Yasa. Rebuilding resilient Nawada village coordinator Sailosi Nakel Kelevesi says the assistance means a lot to his fellow villagers. Uh, there are a total of around uh, 66 school children, and uh, included here, uh, uh, there are few children too from our neighboring Indian community. So I have included their name uh, because uh, they were affected as well. We look forward uh, for ways in which we could come up with better initiatives so that we could be of, we could add value. Uh, and as proud Fijians, we work together and then we have uh, the tendency to uh, come together as a team. Up ahead, Josiah Seller returns for Rewa. And Cricket Fiji Easter Championship begins. Stay with us. Defending Coca-Cola Games Girls Champion Andy Vakambao School will be fielding 60 athletes for the Coca-Cola Games. There are some injury concerns in the squad. However, coach Antonio Rambuiliku believes they'll be ready come the Fiji finals. Rambuiliku was in Suva yesterday looking for the best bargains for the athletes' t-shirts and he says they have a good squad. We have a, a, a balanced a team of uh, field events and also uh, track events and also our relatives. So, you know, in, in the squad itself, with a squad of 60, um, it's it's actually what we need for a team to go and def defend its title. Consistency in training is needed for teams to perform well on the field. National women's football coach Marika Rondu says more needs to be done to boost the team's performances in the Digicel Super League. He says after round three of competition, some teams have performed exceptionally well, while others are still lacking behind. Rondo says to get the teams to play at the same competitive level consistently is tr in training is a must. Training is to make impact on the, the players' uh, uh, performance. Uh, I think that is what one team but does uh, consistently. Uh, the teams that have been performing consistently are those that have been affecting their players uh, consistently and uh, effectively in training. So what they train is what they apply in the games and uh, how they play in the games, that's how they train back at home. Rewa football fans can expect young striker Josiah Sella in action again for the Delta Tigers this season. The 19-year-old came off the bench in the match against Navua on Sunday and quickly made his presence felt on the field. Sella was out of the football field for more than five months after suffering a fracture on his sheen during BOG in August last year. Coach Rodix Singh says they are blessed to have Sella back in the team.
Uh, Sela is one of the most uh, uh, improved strikers in the country, a youth player that has gone. And you see, once he has gone today, he has provided a lot of uh, improvement. He has provided us the impact. So I knew that uh, uh, by sending him uh, in a tight situation, he would change the game. And he did the same. He went in and changed the situation. And I'm thankful that he's, uh, after his uh, injury, he's back playing. And I thank the Almighty for his healing. Cricket Fiji started its Easter Championship at Suvas Albert Park yesterday. This year's event has a twist to it with the involvement of former national reps Aquilavama with the details. They have been there and done it all. These former national reps making a team for the Easter Championship. This is the first time that uh, Masters uh, have been uh, put in a team so that they can contribute. Uh, for what they have been done for previous years. The veterans showed Como they have what it takes to beat any team in the competition. Cricket is not uh, your age. Uh, you can uh, play cricket in all ages. Uh, you can see the masters there can be bowling, been batting and running between wickets, uh, catching and throwing. That shows uh, how the skills they still have uh, with them. A few surprising results are expected in this Easter tournament. And there's a possibility of uh, an upset to in this tournament. Because the teams have been, uh, this being an annual tournament, teams have been preparing uh, very well, uh, building up to this uh, Easter Cup uh, Championship. 14 teams are part of the competition which continues today. Aquila Dama, FBC Sports. Cloudy periods with brief showers are expected over most parts of the country. A weak trough of low pressure remains slow moving over the eastern part of the country. And that's FBC's morning news. Join us at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. And remember, for news you can trust, get the facts from FBC's TV, radio and digital news at fbcnews.com.fj. Take care and good morning. खूबसूरत देश फीजी में चाइल्ड अब्यूज की घटनाएं आए दिन बढ़ रही है क्यों बच्चों का मासूम बचपन अब्यूज का शिकार हो जाता है अपने बच्चों की सुरक्षा का खास ख्याल रखें उनसे बातचीत करें उनके दोस्तों के बारे में जानें आज के बच्चे देश का भविष्य है मैं दीप्ति और मैं मोनिश आपके हम सफर शामिल हो जाए हमारे साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे फाइव फोर्टी फाइव तक रेडियो फीजी टू देश की धड़कन आरोप